Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 20th, 2022. My goodness, this month is going fast. We have had quite a quite a tumultuous market, and yesterday proved to be, um, well, in my opinion anyway, a very odd day where we had the IMF downgrading global economy. We have Russia um, um, intensifying the war over there in Ukraine. And we just had a lot of uncertainty in, in things going on, but the bulls decided to defy everything and push on up. What's interesting is that we pushed on up and we did it on relatively light volume. So I think a lot of that move yesterday was not so much buying as it was a short squeeze in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, let's draw in a few things in here. Um, notice that we have held this price support in here, and yesterday was a really solid day to the upside. And I think, like I said, with volume being so low, I think it was an awful lot of a short squeeze um, pushed in the market. Now, we have to keep in mind that one day does not make a trend what's going to be interesting to see is can we follow through on this today um, after kind of those disappointing earnings in Netflix um, now that will mostly affect the um, the Nasdaq of course but we'll want to watch this closely too because we have this problem that we've got to deal with here we've got a big level of price resistance in the chart that we've got to deal with. I we, we, we did break this little downtrend in here, which is a good sign. And remember, I said we have to push through there, and then we need to prove that we can actually hold that area as support. Remember, we can push through a resistance area like right here, and then still fail back below. In fact, those can be very, very painful failures. So we're going to want to watch this pretty closely. Can we extend? And realizing that we extended so far yesterday that we kind of went a little bit overbought in the short term. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely today. So um, as we roll out another big day of earnings reports, it'll be interesting to see how this progresses. But watch those resistance levels above. If we can break through those, hey more power to the bulls if um, we happen to get a, a, a pullback today just keep in mind it could be a little bit of a nasty whipsaw if it does start to occur so watch that closely let's take a look at our spy SPY also rallying up sharply but we can see that we really didn't resolve much of anything just yet we went right up into that downtrend in the chart and we slammed ourselves directly into some price resistance here so we'll want to watch that pretty closely um, whether or not we can push on through that'll be the interesting uh, thing to see now of course we did hold this price support and that is bullish so if we can continue to hold that area and if we can push through that resistance remember we want to see that proof that we can hold up here that higher low to get us that bullishness here in the market but I will give this up to the bulls in a good way because what we did yesterday is we crossed back above that 50-day moving average remember we've got the 200-day moving average up there as well creating that little problem here of that price resistance so we'll want to keep an eye on that and then if we take a look at our QQQ now unfortunately QQQ will have a little bit more of a challenge today we didn't break through that downtrend um, in the chart and unfortunately we didn't break through price resistance levels in the QQQ so we still have more work to do here in the NASDAQ and although the pre-market futures are trying to pump up heading into the open there is that major problem here that we have of Netflix 
and that will be a pretty hard hit for the market um, looking to open down 26 percent um, this morning so that could be a little bit of a problem for the nasdaq and if we start to slide here remember that could continue to push us down we also have to consider that those bond rates remain very very high they went back up yesterday with the 30-year bonds going over three percent and those 10-year bonds pushing up over 2.9 so we'll want to watch that pretty closely. We've got a 20-year bond auction today if those bonds continue to rise. We, we know that the, the Fed is likely going to act more aggressively uh, moving forward, which the, that act is to slow the economy down. So we'll want to watch that carefully and watch these resistance levels above. Let's take a look at our IWM. Now, IWM also had a really good day yesterday, pushing up substantially. But once again, all we did was really run right back up here into that downtrend in the chart. And unfortunately, we have a huge level of price resistance above that we still need to get back about, uh, through. So whether or not we can follow through today, that's the theme of the day. Can we follow through with bullishness today or will we see some kind of a pullback? Can't tell you what's going to happen here. I'm just telling you where those resistance and support levels are in the charts that we'll want to be concerned about. Again, if those bears were to um, engage and push back down through there, that's where we'd have that problem. Pushing back up through this area here, holding that higher low, that's where I'm going to join everyone in getting bullish here on the market. But so far, it's just not quite there for me. Let's take a look at our... Uh, VIX. Our VIX whoops, pulled back nicely yesterday. So once again, we've pushed back and we've broke, kind of broken this um, little upside trend. So that's a good sign. But unfortunately, we didn't break down through that 20 handle in the chart. And we've talked about that several times. We're, we're stuck in the middle here um, on between 20 handles and 25 handles here in the chart, trying to break through that range. Now, a follow through to the upside today could potentially push us down through that 20 handle, and that would start to ease some of that volatility a bit. Again, if those bears fight back and defend at resistance levels in the chart, we could see it push back up. So just kind of watch that carefully today. Let's take a look at our um, T2122. Now this is where we run into a little bit of a problem here that T2122 um, expanded quite a bit yesterday. As a matter of fact, um, at the high point of the day, we were probably close to being up here um, in T2122, but that selling that came in right at the end of the day pulled us back here a bit. So we still have upside opportunity. And what that means is if those bulls can grab a hold of something in here on earnings or um, economic reports or something like that, we still have room that we can go before we reach that oversold condition, or excuse me, overbought condition in the market. So watch carefully for that if we can grab a hold and follow through for today. Again, theme of the day. Can we follow through? And if we cannot, well, then we also want to keep in mind that we've opened up a pretty good opportunity for a pullback um, in the market. So just uh, keep those things in mind as we move forward. Now let's take a look at our T2108 because our T2108 did have a nice improvement yesterday. And what I think is important in here is that we have held a little bit of a higher low in here, which is a nice thing to see because we haven't seen that for some time. And we're pressing some resistance levels in that chart. Now keep in mind, we still have this big downtrend that we need to get through, but it is a positive thing to see 54% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. So thumbs up for the bulls on that one. And then our T2107, very similar situation where we held that higher low in here. Those bulls are starting to show a little bit more tenacity in here trying to fight for that upside move. Let's just hope that the earnings continue to follow through with bullishness um, and we don't see a whole lot of those Netflix reports out there because that could turn us south pretty quickly. But watch that resistance level as we push up there. 37% of the stocks holding above their 200 day. So got to give that one to the bulls as well. Our T2101, interestingly enough, registered almost nothing yesterday. And I believe the reason that is the case is because when we look at these index charts, volume was 
extremely low for that move, which really kind of begs the question, how did we get such a big move yesterday um, with volume staying low? Well, we do that by creating a short squeeze, um, short traders being forced out of the market um, in that rally back up. So I think a good portion of yesterday's move was partially that short squeeze pushing um, all of those short traders and saying, look, I just got to get out of this before they push it on through. So watch that closely. Um, it's interesting that we had such a big day and really didn't see much of a volume spike. Let's take a look at all our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar we've got a couple things that we'll want to be paying attention to first we've got those mortgage applications and unfortunately those mortgage applications didn't help us out this morning um, if you saw the headline that came out mortgage applications have fallen a full 50 percent from one year ago so we're continuing to show decline minus five percent on those mortgage applications as those rates increase as a matter of fact the fed came out on monday and warned that there could be a housing crisis um, on their way that prices could start to fall pretty quickly that came from the fed and everybody just chose to ignore it. What that really says is the Fed is going to be more aggressive in raising rates and we could see those higher rates coming in. In fact, the report came out and said we could see um, over the next few years as high as 8% interest rates on uh, mortgages. It's been a long time since we've seen that um, as this inflation continues to press us hard overall. Now keep in mind we have existing home sales. That'll be an interesting one today to be paying attention to. We've got that petroleum status report. We continue to see those oil sector stocks holding up. So um, we'll want to watch that closely in here. We have Fed speakers aplenty um, as they continue to yak and yak and yak about what they're going to be doing in the next uh, meeting. So watch that closely. We have a 20 year bond auction, which may be interesting today because of those bonds pushing up higher. And then the beige book here today, not likely to really create any volatility. One of the things we do want to uh, make note of is there's been an addition to the Thursday calendar here. Notice we've got Jerome Powell speaking here at 11 o'clock. So a little bit of an addition there along with the rest of those reports that we'll want to keep an eye on. Let's um, take a look at um, our earnings calendar today. Now our earnings calendar is a pretty, pretty busy one. We have um, a full meal deal, um, as a matter of fact, today. Um, and please keep in mind, guys, that I will not be able to uh, keep up with all of the notable earnings reports coming our way just because there's going to be such a large number of them as we ramp up this earnings season. So with that, make sure you click the link below the title of the video, go back to the morning blog, and you'll catch those notables that I've put on the list. So first off, um, this afternoon, we're gonna hear from Tesla. Obviously, Tesla can be a market mover. We'll wanna watch that one closely. Um, um, who knows what's going to happen here, but just keep a close eye on that. That'll be this afternoon. Uh, we're going to hear from ABT. ABT looks like they're moving a little bit higher. Must have had a positive report uh, moving slightly up. And Procter & Gamble today. Procter popped and dropped earlier, now trying to resume back to the upside. Let's watch that closely. Some of these consumer defensive sector stocks have been holding up really well and showing a lot of strength. So keep an eye on Procter. We're going to hear from Steel Dynamics. Um, Steel Dynamics has been in this amazing upside move. Really, really strong. Um, keep an eye on that as those commodity prices continue to rise in the market. We'll want to watch that. And I think it might be interesting to keep an eye on KMI. KMI is pretty much a, a pipeline um, um, for natural gas and obviously natural gas is just going through the roof here uh, lately and you can see KMI pushing up here pretty strongly so that will be an interesting report and last but not least on these reports we'll want to keep an eye on UAL we've had a pretty solid increase here just lately with the mandate being dropped uh, for masks um, saw quite a rally in a lot of the 
airlines. But notice here in UAL, we're pushing up into a downtrend. That report this morning will be important to see if we can push on through or if we just continue to follow this downtrend. So watch that close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow and I just, I, I so appreciate it. Um, I, I never ever expected that there would be folks that um, truly appreciated a, a solid look at the charts without a whole bunch of hype or read in prediction into it. So I truly appreciate that. And um, uh, thank you so much for supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. And also just a big shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. You guys, thank you very, very much. Um, you humble me every day, honestly. Now let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that could be setting up and keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence in these charts. Make sure you understand the risk of every trade and that you're paying very very close attention to your own rules of trading. First off let's take a look at a few of the um, defensive sector stocks. You know, one of the things we like to do, and particularly around earnings season, because there's so much hype around big tech and things like that in earnings, take a look at some of the old boring companies. Take a look at Hershey here, guys. You know, when the, when the market is showing um, uncertainty when the when food prices and commodity prices and everything just continue to rise the only way a stock like this can rally like this is that there's institutional support and I think what we've been seeing here recently is the institutions have rotated they're rotating from those big techs into some of these more consumer staple type stocks uh, defensive sector stocks where there's dividend yields and we can see their support in such a strong trend now, I, do, I wouldn't want to say that you want to chase this, but when you look at a chart like this, it's been moving up in a beautiful upside trend, holding a consolidation. Watch for that next opportunity to the upside. There's no reason why this has to stop as long as institutions continue to support it. And I'm starting to see um, lots of those stocks, um, even some that were a little bit slow, in getting going, uh, Mondelez had a really good day yesterday pushing up. We identified this early in the day yesterday in Right Way Options. And you can see holding that trend, holding that support, pop to the upside. Now keep in mind, Mondelez still has a lot of resistance up here to deal with, so I wouldn't want to chase that today. But watch stocks like this. We're seeing a lot of those um, just really old boring stocks uh, Kraft Heinz moving sharply higher. We're seeing um, lots of, you know, Coke and Pepsi showing lots of strength, uh, very strong upside moves in the market. So keep a watch on some of those. Some of those old, boring defensive sector stocks can be very, very profitable. Even taking a look at Walmart, really surprised here at the strength in Walmart as it continues to rally up. But it is a discount seller. So um, keep a close eye on that. Walmart stretching back up here to the upside. And as this rests across here in that consolidation, Look for that next opportunity to move to the upside. Other places in the same kind of area, did those discount sellers, take a look at Dollar General. Big strong move here. And by the way, every reversal in the market is exactly the same. When we break a downtrend, we always want to look for the higher low. As I mentioned in the index charts, institutions cannot hide their fingerprints. And we always know when they start to support a stock when a downtrend breaks and then they begin to hold a higher low. And from that point on, it becomes pretty easy trading to the upside. We don't have to gamble and we don't have to guess and we don't have to predict if we watch some simple patterns like that in the chart. So Dollar General breaking through, moving strongly to the upside. Um, take a look at Dollar, whoops. 
take a look at Dollar Tree. Very, very strong here, just ripping to the upside as some of these discount sellers continue to move up. So watch those um, charts like that. Watch for those next opportunities where we may find some price support in the charts and more upside moves that can come along in them pretty easily. Other places I think we have to continue to look. We have to continue to look in that energy sector. If we look at XLE, um, I got to tell you, it just continues to push to the upside. Now, remember today, we do have, um, we do have, um, a petroleum status number that could move this around so you'll want to keep an eye on that but if you look within this sector and uh, TC2000 makes this real easy we just click one icon and you can start looking through the sector take a look at APA beautiful upside move pushing through yesterday Devon's looking really good EOG MRO um, just over and over and over, we're seeing stocks in this industry continuing to stay strong, very strong, and moving on up. So watch those carefully. I still think there's lots of opportunity um, in these stocks. And of course, natural gas, the same thing. Take a look at UNG. This thing just went up like a rocket shot. In fact, it went parabolic. Now I hold this, so I have a bias. I've been holding this for longer term and uh, it's just been a remarkable trade but as you can see we're getting that little resting pullback in here now so watch that carefully as this rests or consolidates that's when that next opportunity could come into a pl um, into play take a look at boil boil looking really really strong in the chart another place you may want to start looking remember i've been talking about um, some of these alternative energies Plug Power made a deal with Walmart the other day um, for a lot of hydrogen. And as you can see, popped up nicely here. We're holding some price support. This was kind of a nasty little pullback in here. So I don't think this is quite ready for prime time, um, for me anyway, to, to make another purchase in this trade. Anytime a stock breaks a support level, I require that stock to recover that support and hold. If I can get up here, then we resume the upside trend. So keep an eye on things like plug power um, looking pretty good. Keep an eye on um, charts in gold and silver. Now GLD both and, and silver both popped and dropped yesterday, but you want to notice they're trying to push back up off of that support here this morning. Um, gold and silver trying to come back around and show a lot of strength um, in this uncertain market. So watch some of those metals and mining um, stocks out there. There, they continue to show lots of strength strength so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for being here i do truly appreciate it and i wish you all the best